published 1106 EDT, the 11th of August 2017 updated 1758 EDT, the 11th of August 2017 for the first time since his inauguration, President Donald Trump is expected to return home to Trump Tower for a few days starting Sunday and police say they are ready for him. The NYPD is planning a slight security clamp down in the area around the gilded skyscraper that bears his name for the duration of his visit. Trump first tweeted his plans to stay in his private, New York City home on Monday, when he wrote that he'd go home to the city for some meetings. President Donald Trump announced plans to stay at his New York City residence for the first time since his inauguration. The NYPD has said that it is ready for his arrival on Sunday. Armed police officers with the counterterrorism unit stand guard outside Trump Tower in New York. Trump tweeted that he will be in New York City for meetings. The NYPD is planning a slight security clamp down in the area around the gilded skyscraper that bears his name for the duration of his visit. Has been staying at his private golf club in New Jersey since August 4, when he kicked off his 17 day working vacation. The White House HASNT divulged specifics on his New York stay. After Trump was elected president November 8, security around Trump Tower ramped up dramatically, even including a fleet of heavy sanitation department trucks filled with sand to wall off the front of the building from any potential vehicle bomb attack. In addition, a maze of barricades and checkpoints were manned by scores of uniformed police officers under the supervision of a mobile command center. Since taking office, the president has surprisingly returned to the city only once, on May 4, for a visit with Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum. Police officials estimate the cost of securing the president while HES in town is roughly $300,000 per day, but that number changes depending on who he is with among other things securing the tower is made difficult due to a zoning law mandating that it be open to the public from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., a deal Trump agreed to, allowing him to add an additional 20 floor area around Trump Tower is a maze of barricades and police checkpoints. She was in town for only a few hours. His absence allowed the New York Police Department to loosen security around Trump Tower, though it can dial it back up at any time, said Police Department spokesman Stephen Davis. We're ready, Davis said. We're ready if he wants to show up tomorrow, or not at all. Trump Tower poses a unique security challenge because portions of it are required, by law, to be open to the public from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. As a result of a zoning deal Trump cut with the city when he built the skyscraper in 1979, allowing him to add an additional 20 floors to the building, the tower continues to be the scene of frequent protest marches and demonstrations, though most in recent months have been smaller than the many huge demonstrations that followed the inauguration. Opponents of Trump's immigration policies have already said they have plans to protest outside Trump Tower on Tuesday. Police officials estimate the cost of securing the president while HES in town is roughly $300,000 per day, but that could easily change depending on whom HES with, how many people are in his entourage, where HES headed and how long HES planning to stay. The NYPD is the most expert police force on earth in terms of handling visits by an American president, Mayor Bill de Blasio said earlier this week. They do an outstanding job. I think that we're going to be ready by any measure. Trump's time in New York has been a lot less than we expected, the Democratic mayor said. To his credit, he kept the time here very limited and the disruption very limited. Hopefully, that will be the same this time.